Hey guys, it's Coach Corey and you're watching the Legion Lab. This week we're joined by Rochelle Gober. All right, guys, so episode three here, we've got Rochelle on, and we are going to discuss, number one, her background, how she got started in CrossFit and where she's coming from, and then we're also going to jump in the very exciting thing that is her being a captain for one of our teams this year for the Legion Cup. So, Rochelle, welcome. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Cool. Yeah. Tell us about yourself. Um, so, <laughs> I've been doing CrossFit at CrossFit Little Creek uh, for a few months now. I started back in June. Um, but before that, uh, I was a gymnast growing up. So when I was about nine or 10 years old, I started doing gymnastics. Um, one of my friends, uh, when I lived in Korea, she could do an aerial. And so uh, I said to myself, I wanna be a gymnast, that's what I wanna do. What's um, an aerial? An aerial, it's a, it's a cartwheel without hands. Oh, okay. Cool. So Some I thought, ninja stuff. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Um, and so from that moment on, I was like, I'm going to do gymnastics. And um, so I did. I did gymnastics until about my sophomore year in high school. Um, I did make it to nationals where nice. I placed third. Um, my team at the time, we actually won. Um, and then I was faced with a choice of do I want to keep pursuing my sport? Um, but at that time, my body was just kind of saying, mm, maybe it's time for another sport. So sure. um, I went ahead and stopped gymnastics and then I found CrossFit nice. um, when I li was living in St. Petersburg, Florida. And uh, for about a year, I did CrossFit there um, during high school and I absolutely fell in love with the sport. Um, it was incredible and a great uh Great use of those gymnastics skills, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Gymnasts do really, really well. You guys have great kinesthetic awareness. Yes. You can move your body through through space very efficiently. Um, what did you say just a second ago? Oh, Korea. What What was the story with Korea? How did, <laughs> so, how did that happen? Uh, so both of my parents uh, were active duty Air Force while I was growing up. Um, so they that was their their career. So I got to um, I got to live around the world, uh, which also led me. Uh, to uh, go to the Naval Academy for college, which was nice. uh, my, ne my next step after yeah, my, year of, my year of CrossFit. Um, so at the Naval Academy, I, I kind of got away from CrossFit. It was just really busy. Um, at the sure. time I was, I studied chemistry, so that was my major. Uh, just a really busy time in my life, yeah. uh, trying to figure out you know, what I want to do uh, for my, my five-year commitment after in the Navy. Um, so I ended up, uh, just kind of working out on my own, uh, you know, doing my own thing. Um, and now I, I moved here. Uh, I'm stationed at uh, Norfolk Base, and I am uh, a, a prospective nuclear surface warfare officer. Oh my gosh, that's, so that's a mouthful. <laughs> that's quite the title. Nice. But, but I think the coolest thing that people may or may not know about you, and I guess it's coming to an end here soon, is, is that you actually live on a boat, which isn't that, it's not that weird <laughs> for a naval officer to live on a boat, but you live on your own boat. Tell us about that and what that's been like. Yes. Um, so my, uh, my parents' whole dream after retirement was to buy a sailboat and um, get to go to the Bahamas every year and, and live on the sailboat. So, uh, uh, when I was at the academy, they did that for four, year, for four years. And uh, when they found out that I was moving to Norfolk, uh, they provided me the very generous opportunity to live on the boat um, and try and get my feet under underneath myself uh, my first little bit living on my own. That's so cool. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful sailboat. Thank you, Dad. Um, and so I got to live, live on that by myself since, since about June. However, uh, the boat life is coming to an end. Uh, the boat will stay up here, but I did, I did find another land residence. Yeah, that's nice. Um, one, one boat's enough. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. So, yeah. Cool. So you are going to be a captain for us this year for the Legion Cup, which I is will. kind of our intramural open uh, in-house competition. What, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Where do you expect to take your team? If you have a team name or color picked out, you can share that stuff with us too, but share with us kind of what you see in your mind's eye for this year's Open. Um, so for my team, I'm just looking for lots of energy. 
Uh, my team name is Drop It Like a Squat. Nice. Um, <laughs> squats are my favorite workout, and um, I also really like snatches, which um, you know goes in with that squat movement. But uh, my team color will be blue, and I'm just really looking forward to having some very excited, motivated people on my team um, who can, you know, bring that excitement every Friday and and do their best and hit those PRs. Nice. Um, so we've got draft night Friday. You think that's going to go well for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The luck is on my side. Nice. For sure. <laughs> We're going to do it kind of like a, uh, a Harry Potter, like sorting hat type thing. So anybody that shows up, uh, will get to draw out of a hat, but, um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. What are you looking forward to the most about the five workouts? What do you think is going to be the best for you? Oh goodness. The best for, for me personally. Sure. Oh gosh. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've competed in the open. My last open was in, in 2015. So I'm just, I'm really excited to, to get under some heavy barbells again. Yeah, man, it's um, going to be an exciting year for you if it's been that long since you've done it. Yeah. It's always fun to, to push yourself, right? For whatever reason, we, we do a much better job of pushing ourselves to that, that threshold or that limit during the open than we do just in everyday normal classes. At least that's how I feel. But it's exciting as a coach to kind of, and for you as a prospective captain, to go in and see so many people that you're, you're so closely tied to, uh, set PRs and do so well. So I think that's what I'm most excited about. What are you the most fearful about then? Uh, probably just letting myself down. Uh, I've got some high expectations for myself, uh, just kind of always. And so I really just, uh, I hope that I, I can push myself to the degree I want to. Sure. Well, you've been doing well, right? Like what in the class you just finished up, you snatched 155. Yes. Is that a PR for you? Uh, that's a, so, uh, not an all-time PR, but okay. definitely since I've been back in the gym. Okay, awesome. So I'm nice. really excited about it. Um, it's it's so incredible to have like this community that will you know take the time to cheer you on, to stop and and really push you further than you think you can go. Yeah, that's um, how I knew it happened. I was yeah. back in my little hidey hole, <laughs> clicking away on my keyboard, and then I heard all these people clapping and, and yelling. That was a, it was cool. So yeah, excellent, nice. What, uh, what else do you think then? What else do you want to share about being a captain? What do you hope to share with your, maybe your prospective team is out there watching this somewhere? What do you want to tell them? Oh, um, just bring the energy. Um, I'm just, again, really excited to have uh, so many people who are so excited and so um, motivated to not only do their best, but to push others to do their best as well. Nice, and um, if there's somebody out there that's afraid or they, they haven't really signed up yet, what would be your words to them? Do you think the Open's for everybody? Can anyone do it? What do you think? Absolutely. The Open is a time for uh, for everyone to come together. It's, it's that benchmark time of the year where you can really see how far you co you've co you have come or you know a great starting point of where you can go in the yeah. future. Um, it's for everyone. If, if, if the Open is your first ever CrossFit workout, or if it's your, you know, 60 hundredth or whatever, mm -hmm. it is an incredible time to be a part of the sport and part of the community. Yeah, it's a blast. And I, I think we're gonna really, just like all of our workouts, we're really gonna pay a lot of attention to optimizing each one for the individual. So, uh, and then again, the scoring you haven't really seen yet, but we're, it's gonna be really set out to reward participation much more so than, uh, than all out athletic performance. So it should be fun for each and every individual. Uh, and we've even got some teens doing it this year, so it's going to be a real good time. Oh, but. yeah. I'm excited. I want to make some signs and, you know. <laughs> there may be some know. extra points for that. Oh, absolutely. Bring the, the spirit points uh, to the to the team and to Friday nights. Yeah, I like it. Anything else you want to share with the group? Um, just be excited every day when you come to CrossFit. It's a time to be better and and help others get better. Heck, yeah. Best hour of your day, right? Absolutely. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us. I hope to see you guys back here next time for episode four. Please, if you enjoyed what Rochelle had to share with us, leave it in a comment down below or like this post, just depending where you're seeing it at. Uh, and then if you're interested in coming on with me, shoot me a DM or a, uh, a comment or a message and we'll get you scheduled to come on and have an episode of your own. Thanks, guys. See you later.